Yes! Yes! Oh god! Today I'm gonna to be making a 100 layer crepe cake. This is from every anime ever, but this one is going to be a little special, especially for me. Now you don't have to make 100 layers. There's a recipe in the description for 25 layers, which is just about standard for a crepe cake. So if you guys wanna make this at home, it is very easy, as long as you're not doing all of this, because this took me two and a half days. Let's do this. I feel like Alvin Zhao. This recipe is super straightforward and super simple. We are going to crack a dozen eggs straight into our blender. If you don't have a blender, feel free to just use a very large bowl if you're making this a massive batch. To this, I'm adding around 30 ounces worth of milk, 10 ounces worth of sugar, and about 24 ounces worth of water. This is, this is really full. Uh, damn. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's blend this up first and then I'll add the flour after. Oh, this is really, I thought it was gonna be enough room. Clearly I was wrong. It's totally fine, man. We've never made a hundred layer crepe cake before, so take your time here. While this stuff is blending up, add in a splash of vanilla and a pinch of salt for further flavoring. And the last liquid is going to be some melted butter. This is around 10 ounces worth of melted butter that we're going to slowly add into our blender. I want to add some of this flour in while it's mixing because it is going to help. Hopefully it doesn't explode while we add the flour, but we're going to have to find out. I needed to add five cups worth of all-purpose flour to my blender, but I couldn't fit all of it, so I added half for now and blended that together. Now we gotta whisk in the rest of this, because this, there's no way that all this is fitting in here. At least we realized we couldn't fit all of it into the blender, so we're placing it into a large bowl so we can mix in the rest of that flour. Oh, so close. Okay, we got, we got room. Now with the rest of that batter in that large bowl, I'm slowly adding in the rest of that all-purpose flour. This comes out to a total of five cups worth of flour, and it is a significant amount of batter to make these 100 crepes. I also added in a touch more water just to thin it out because it felt a little thick. Now that it's all mixed up, the, what you can see here at the top are all these bubbles. Hopefully you can see that. Don't want those with crepes, so we're gonna let this actually sit for at least an hour I'm going overnight. You can wait an hour if you're doing a small batch, you'll be fine. And while we're waiting for the crepe batter to rest, we gotta do the thing. And remember, this week's video is dedicated to Sim over on our premium Discord. You get our chef's kiss. Now fast forward to the next day and we can finally cook off our crepes. This is the method that I used in restaurants to where we had to make a bunch of crepes at one time. I'm using an eight inch pan with around a quarter cup worth of batter. You throw the batter down, get a test for how much heat you need. And if they do fall apart like this, you need to cook them longer. So after that first test, I made my second crepe, let this cook out and made sure that I rotated the pan so all of that batter spread super evenly. This was really important when doing crepes. Yeah, you can see why crepe cakes are so expensive. They're so expensive because the amount of labor that goes into each one. After that crepe has cooked for around 60 to 90 seconds on one side, we're going to flip it into a bigger pan over a lower heat and let that one finish cooking so we can then immediately start the second crepe. We're going to repeat this process until we have 100 crepes made, and in this case, 25 vanilla. Now we just do that uh, 25 times for this recipe, for this flavor. Take your time doing this. This is where all of the money is. We want to make sure that we make these crepes as nice as possible and as thin as possible to really hold true to that crepe cake style. If your crepes are too thick, it's not going to be fun. I'm taking a bit of pause because I, I, I lost count. So I'm going to place some of these on a plate, get my count right, make sure I have at least 20 to 25 and, and then we will continue or, or mix some colors in. Yeah. Don't lose count. It's only the first batch and we've already lost count. I, I feel like this entire thing is going to be a very lively disaster. So this is the first flavor that we have. This is just our plain vanilla. Now we're going to make the other colors. So this way we can have that beautiful stack at the end. For the other colors, I measured out 25 portions worth of batter into separate containers. This way I could ensure I had the proper amount for all of the crepes that we need. I'm not gonna have enough batter. I'm gonna have to like make three more batches. Oh my God. Measure twice cut once. We definitely didn't measure twice, so we're going to be cutting a bunch of times. There's clearly not enough batter for another 60 crepes after this. I, I gotta go back to the store. I feel like Alvin now with all the crazy giant things he makes. You may feel like Alvin, but you don't look as cool as Alvin. I went ahead and added some red food coloring to get my red crepes ready because this is the first batch we had made, so I wanted to try to keep it consistent. I also added some red luster dust to give it some more color, and this is what my red batter started to look like. Once I had my red batter ready to go, I decided to start cooking this off just to make sure that all of these were out of the way and we can start with a fresh batch for the other colors. But I gotta admit, the red looks really cool. I'm just not sure where it went wrong and, and thinking that I actually had enough of this stuff because, you know, usually my math is pretty on point, so... 
You really wonder where some of these ingredients actually end up, and most of the time, it's in my mouth. I went through the process of making a second batch of batter. Yes, this should actually be enough batter for every crepe that we need. Yes, I did measure twice this time, just to make sure I was on point. Each of these batches represents 25 to 26 crepes. I added in the respective colors to each batch that I needed. We have blue, green, and finally black on the very end. We gave these a little whirl, and the green came out a little minty, which is totally fine because you'll see what it looks like later. The blue came out more of a teal color which was still closer to green but I'm still okay with it and the black just came out like midnight. Now we get to cook off all of these crepes. This is an additional 60 crepes and look at how these black crepes came out. These look absolutely midnight and I love the way they came out. The blues kind of looked a little teal not gonna lie. The green ones though these look like they were skinned right off the Hulk and I am happy with it. After many many hours our crepes are ready. Now the next thing we have to do is make a ridiculous amount of whipped cream for these ridiculous amount of crepes. We're gonna need a lot of whip. And for a lot of whip, I am using two whole pints worth of heavy cream. Once the heavy cream was locked and loaded, I started up my mixer over at medium speed and started adding in just about two cups worth of powdered sugar, followed by around a teaspoon worth of cream of tartar. Normally, I wouldn't use cream of tartar, but it is going to help stabilize this whipped cream for this giant crepe cake. After around three or four minutes over a high speed, I should have nice stiff peaks on the whipped cream. I feel like we're gonna need more whipped cream, but I'm gonna start with this. I have one more pint in there that we can use if we really need it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need it. What do I wanna put this? What do I want to serve this on? Now, before we even think about what we're going to serve it on, we do need to trim these crepes. I went ahead and restacked all of my crepes, which actually loosened them up a bit, making them easier to stack and to cut. To get the shape that I wanted, I grabbed myself a plate, placed it on top of all my crepes, grabbed a very, very sharp utility knife, and slowly started trimming off any excess off of those crepes. This will give the end crepe cake a really nice uniform shape. If you're just making this for yourself at home, feel free to skip this step, but it does make it look super, super pretty. Don't throw these away. You know what's really really nice pan frying these and tossing them in cinnamon sugar. Can confirm it's delicious, but look at how amazing these crepes have turned out. Look at how beautiful and even this is now. Like I love the way this came out. We loved it so much. We did the same thing with the green followed by the blue, then the regular white, and then finally the red. We're done. Not really, still a lot to do, but at least they're cut. Now with the crepes made and cut, this is when we finally get to assemble everything with that whipped cream. With a crepe cake this size, it's very important that you do not add a ton of whipped cream to each layer. If you add in too much whipped cream to each layer of these crepes, it's going to end up coming out of the sides, which with a hundred layers, you can imagine how messy that would be. You're only adding enough whipped cream to make sure that there's a nice thin layer around the entire crepe, and that'll hold the next layer of crepe that you place on top. All right, now just four more layers. Why do I do these things to myself? We do it because we choose to, Paul, and for the memes, and because this crepe cake is ridiculous. I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of whipped cream and this is gonna tip over. Could you imagine the absolute mess in the refrigerator and or the floor if this fell over? I also don't have a car that works, so I'm gonna have to skate over to the store and buy some whipped cream, and I, I think it's raining pretty good right now, so we'll see what happens. Obviously, we didn't math out any of this, and we should have made that decision to math it out before attempting a 100-layer crepe cake. But we must go on, and this cake must be made. That is 40 out of 100 layers. And then begins the green process. We have like 46 more layers to go, and I I am out of whipped cream. I have one more pint to make. Hopefully it's enough. So we are making one quick pint of whipped cream. This is all we have left. So this better work out and get every single drop out of there. I couldn't be bothered to move the mixer. So I just placed it into the back while it was going. And this had to be refrigerated while I made that other batch of whipped cream. And as soon as that other batch of whipped cream was ready, I finished up the red layer. This is the last section. I gotta try to make this work. So not a lot of whipped cream left. Don't believe in you. Believe in me who believes in you. You can make this whipped cream work with these final 25 layers of the black crepes. Do you guys wanna see how much whipped cream I have left? That's it. That's all that was left. Probably a tablespoon. The 100 layers are stacked. Now to let it set up, just hope there's room in the fridge. Oh God, oh, this is this is wild. Please be careful with this. We can't remake this. There's actually, I, I wouldn't want to remake this. Place this in the fridge carefully. Oh my God, fit. Oh my God, yes! <gasps> that thing barely, barely fits in there. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. Do a little cleanup, do a little dance, cut this thing open, yes! 
Now we just need to top this off with some powdered sugar to finish off our crepe cake. Not only will this help sweeten the crepe cake, but it's going to give it a cool design thanks to our Cricut printer. I really wanted this to be a special cake. This is my 100 layer, five color Magic the Gathering crepe cake from every anime ever. There was a reason why I did 100 layers in five different colors. It's because I'm obsessed with Commander and Magic the Gathering right now. I am not sure I even want to cut this, but I have to cut this so we can see what the inside looks like. So just go for it. You know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it, guys. I don't, what do I eat this on? Cutting board? Trough? Do I have a trough? This is unfortunate. Using a sheet tray. It's what you do in the kitchen. Oh, baby, that is, that is butter. Look at, look at that. No resistance, no resistance. Come on, that's cool, man. That's a hundred freaking layers. Oh my God, please don't fall over on me. Oh, <laughs> I'm like giddy right now. This is dumb. Oh, uh, okay, here we go. Here we go, moment of truth. We got, we got all the cameras on, please. Uh, I'm not doing this again. Here it is is oh oh god it's working hold on look at this dad dude come on come out yes yes did we get this holy crap oh god <laughs> oh we got it on the thing look at this stack Gandalf is freaking out right now because I'm so excited look at that come on camera look at it it's all blown out over there how about over here huh look at this look at where, where else are you gonna get this? Right here, that's where you're gonna get this. This is the business right now. You're gonna have to let me gush for a moment, please, thank you. Gandalf, you can't have it. And there it is, my 100 layer five color crepe cake from every anime ever and as homage to Magic the Gathering because it has uh, allowed me to have a lot of fun in the past year. Cheers. I mean, it's just sweet enough. It's just like, how do you explain it? You could eat a lot of this. I could probably eat this whole thing. And what you really wanna look for in a crepe cake, look at this camera over here, All right, come on. Uh, enhance, thank you. You wanna be able to basically just cut it with a fork without the layers really falling apart. Yeah? Come join the Discord down below to support the channel directly. It's our premium server where I get to chat with you guys on the fly. My name is Chef PK and remember, keep playing with your food. Rakdos with best colors.